when you're playing in the AFC North, you face three of the best pass rushers, two of the best, best pass rushers in NFL football, three including um, Trey Hendrickson. Will you speak to the level of difficulty it you have, like playing the Pittsburgh Steelers with TJ Watt or playing the Cleveland Browns with Miles Garrett, how you guys have to be up on your game at four times a year? I mean, when you look at the playoff picture, you know, AFC North's always got three or four teams in there so far this year. Um, and to win in this division, you got to win the line of scrimmage. And there's every, these teams are heavily invested and have developed some really great players. So um, it's it's fun to play in this division. It is a slugfest, and you know that going into it. It's a lot of big bodies, a lot of big-time players. And, uh, you know, I think we're up for the challenge this week in Pittsburgh. I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks, so I'm sure you've been asked this a lot because the run game has um, just kind of exploded under the scene. How much does that help you guys as offensive linemen when you're able to lean on that run and um, give defenses different looks? Just to keep it balanced, you know, give a change the spot up, give a different look than, you know, just a traditional drop back. I think we've had a great plan these last three weeks and been able to execute it too. So as good as a plan as you can have, you know, it doesn't mean anything unless the players execute it. So I think guys have been really urgent and uh, detail-oriented to be able to go out there and score. I think we've scored 20, at least 27 in the last couple of weeks, so we're going to need to do that again um, against a Pittsburgh defense that's very stout. It seems like you guys are ready to, you know, play all the way to the downs, rip anybody's face off for Jake Browning. Why is that? Why are you willing to put your bodies on the line for him? Um, I mean, Jake's unbelievable. He's, he's had the trust of this team for a while. He's He's such a great guy. I'm so happy for him that he gets this opportunity to – to be the guy and, and uh, you know, kind of play that role and win games and lead our team because he's an exceptional leader. He's playing out of his mind. I think NFL, first time in the NFL, 1,000 yards passing with a 75% completion rate. And that's special. I mean, NFL record, I you know, those are really special moments. And, um, you know, he's earned every bit of this, and he's going to continue to play well for us because we're going we're gonna to try and, you know, make our way into the dance here. What When you look around this locker room, what do you think is the key component for you guys to be able to consistently be resilient and rise above the injuries that you guys have had to key players and be able to go out there and win your you've done one three in a row? It's incredible. I think it starts with um, a testament to the roster building that this organization has. There's so many great young men um, and guys really owning and taking advantage of opportunities. I mean, those are the two things, but you know, we have so many talented players on this team and, and a great coaching staff, so... Um, when guys have gotten their shots, they've stepped up big time. And really, that's what it's about in November, December, January football. And if you can string wins together at that time of year, usually you have a chance chance the postseason. Last question for you. Your crew from Village of Marici was uh, at the on the field at halftime. And I know that you were with them after the game. How special was that for you? I mean, they haven't stopped talking about it. I want to say thank you to the Bengals organization. Thank you to Kettering Health. I mean, they hooked it up. First class VIP from the jump. I think the village set a sweet record for Diet Cokes consumed. Um, I mean, they they had such a blast, and they got to meet Jake after the game. They got to be on the field. I mean, what a huge win! I was like kind of down during the game. Like, we're we really gonna pull this stunt in front of the village, and then their spirit, I think, pushed us over the top. So very grateful to everyone involved that made that happen because that's a that's a memory. They're they're buzzing right now on the east side of Indianapolis. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck.